in question number 7 diagram 1 shows a magnet being uh, pushed into a coil that is connected to a center zero galvanometer initially in the diagram 1 that the magnet it is moving downward and the see the position of the galvanometer pointer is to the left side left side of the zero in the second diagram we said the magnet is uh, stationary if magnet is stationary you know it won't uh, change the magnetic flux linked with it and it won't induce a current so stationary magnet magnet should be into a motion children when it is passing through the coil into the coil or near to a coil so here there won't be any induced current so the pointer should be at the center position like this and in third diagram magnet is outside north pole south pole is moving magnet is now coming out of the coil so look at the this diagram the diagram number one so in this case when the magnet is come out then the deflection in the galvanometer will be opposite to the deflection in the diagram number one so it means now the pointer of the galvanometer will be <coughs> uh, to the <coughs> extremely right side so as per the diagram which i have drawn here you have to see the option uh it is c and uh, c options i can find c option children in diagram 2 that the galvanometer is showing zero deflection and in diagram 3 the galvanometer is turned to the right hand side 38 <clears throat> simple question question number 38 radioactive carbon decays into nitrogen carbon is converting into nitrogen by the emission of a particle carbon and uh, you know you can do this question within a two seconds also when carbon is changing into nitrogen atomic number is increased by one atomic number is this seven six is turned to seven it is possible if it is a beta decay if it is a beta emission so the particle will be beta emission means that the n electron and you can check also electron means you know minus one e zero we write like this or or sometimes we write this one also minus one beta zero so you need to balance this equation in the left hand side how much is the charge this electron uh, sorry number of protons or uh, atomic number is six and on the right hand side should it should be balanced seven minus one that is equal to six and there is no change in the mass number because zero is there so 14 beta particle 38a question number 39 children this questions we have discussed many times and <clears throat> alpha particle passes through the electric field uh, between two charged plates they are deflected downward what happens to the gamma rays gamma rays you know will go straight undivided so they are not deflected at all question number 39 will be c question number 40 40 Iodine 131 emits beta particle. Okay. Half life of uh, and has a half life of iodine that is eight days means uh, half life means after eight days that uh, iodine will become half. Half of the particles will lost, half will left. It decays to produce xenon, I think. I X E N N 131. Which statement about this decay is correct? Which one is correct, children? In option A, after eight days, no more beta particles are emitted. No, it's a continuous process. It will keep happening. So A is wrong. After eight days, that the number of xenon 131 atoms has halved. That is iodine is de decaying, so atom of iodine should decay, get halved. It's not about the xenon. So B is wrong. In C, after 16 days, the iodine uh, 131 has decayed completely. No, 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 never completely done. You know, uh, it's a ever not ending process. After 16 days, I can say that uh, after 16 days, the number of iodine 131 atoms has reduced to one quarter. A, D after eight days it becomes half after another half days uh, means after another eight days it becomes uh, further divided further gets halved 
so one quarter will reduce yes said d ethan said d so question number 40 i hope that you got the idea of uh, the 40 given that the answer is here d So the next week, children, we will uh, practice our next topic, means next paper, which is uh, alternative to practical exams next week. And then we will start from the 2018 series, October, November.